Next problem tayo ng case 3, shortcut method. Find the general solution. Quantity x plus x y squared, x y squared dy minus quantity y plus x y x y dx is equal to 0. So, multiply natin distributively muna. So, magiging siyang x dy plus x y x y squared dy minus y dx minus x y dx is equal to 0. So, pag ganyan may minus, so hint yan na, derivative of a quotient. So, combine natin yung x dy sa ka, negative y dx. So, x dy minus y dx plus x y squared dy minus x y dx. So, combine natin to So, ano to derivative of a quotient. So, matik na yan pag may minus. Pag plus naman, derivative of a derivative ng product. So, combine natin yan. Tapos, remember yung discuss ko sa case 1. So, nitira natin is yung y y y and dy and x and dx. So, yan yung so, nitira natin yan or walang, or magkat, basta magkatabi lang yung x saka y, yung mga y. Then, so, tanggalin natin, tanggalin natin yung x, so divide natin by x. Tanggalin natin yung x, saka tanggalin natin yung y. So, try natin yung divide, uh, multiply, yung buong equation by 1 over x, y. So, bagay siyang x dy minus y dx over x, y plus y dy minus dx then so ano ba tong x dy minus y dx over xy so hindi na so minus siya so pwede siyang derivative of so derivative ng y over x so y over x So, magiging So, meron na tayo x dy x so low di high minus high di low over low squared. Then, so hindi natin nakuha siya. So, ano pa yung may derivative of a quotient? So, pwedeng du over u. So, ln u. So, pwede siya maging remember ln u. ln u is equal to derivative of u over u. So, try natin yan. So, so mag itong ln y over x. Try natin ln y over x. So, nakuha na natin yung du. So, nakuha na natin itong du. So, over natin sa kulang pa tayo ng so, so ang u natin is x1. So, divide natin by y over x. So, kunin natin yung reciprocal times x1 so, times x1 so, magiging siya x over y. So, magiging cancel na to. So, magiging x dy minus y dx. So, tanggal to. So, magiging siya x y. So, ayan. Nakuha na natin. So, derivative of ln y plus y dy minus dx. So, pwede na tayo mag-integrate. So, sa tip, tip natin na, dapat iaano natin to. So, y n dy and x n dy. So, yan yung sim eh, simplify natin yung ibang term sa, sa form na to. Then, so, mag, so, by integration, makukuha natin yung 
ln x over y. So, babalik tayo sa original equation nito na yun. ln x over y plus y squared over 2 minus x. So, derivative of a uh, integral of a power. So, then, pwede natin further simplify by multiplying the equation by 2. So, magigitong 2 2 ln x over y. So, by rules of magarit, magigit siyang exponent. So, magigit siyang x over y squared plus, so cancel to plus y squared minus 2x is equal to 2c. Yung 2c, pwede yan maging c. Kasi na lang din yan. So, na, yan na yung final answer. So, yan yung case 3 natin. So, pwedeng derivative of a quotient or ln ng quotient.